Welcome to the SAPHANA Academy. My name's Bob and in this video we'll be looking at creating users in the SAPHANA Studio. In this video we're going to be looking at a simple example of creating users within the SAPHANA Studio. So to do this I'm going to launch that SAPHANA Studio. So I'm going to go to Start and select SAPHANA Studio. Now what we're going to do is simply create a user that has read-only access to a specific schema. Very simple introduction into the concept of users. So the first thing that we need to do is um, expand our database. We can click cancel here. Go to our security and in users this is where we're going to create our new user. Now, before we actually create the user, let me give you an example of what we can do. So, at the moment, I've logged into my database, um, and I've logged in via a connection. This was a connection that we built by right-clicking and adding a system. Now, when you add a system in the SAPANA Studio, you enter a host name, the instance, and then at the next step, you're going to enter a database user. So we're going to create a user, so we'll see an additional connection here, and that user will only see the STS schema and only be able to run select statements on it. Now, we have a database or a schema in our catalog folder called STS, and it contains a whole load of tables. Now, of course, I can, because I'm the system user, I can delete, I can insert data, I can drop these tables, I, I, can do, I can create tables, but as this user, we're not going to enable this user to really do anything apart from run a select statement. So the way that we do it is very simple. We go again back to our security folder, right click on users and I'm going to select new user. I'll call this user STS read and then I'll, I'll, I'll allocate a password. Now in a few minutes you'll be prompted to change this password, so I'm just going to type a very simple one. Now what you'll notice is that there's three different types of authentication. Obviously we can have a password authentication, but if you've got Kerberos or SAML in, um, configured in your system, then you can also choose to use Kerberos or SAML um, authentication as well. So below you'll see five tabs, and this is actually where you assign your rights. So the first thing we need to do is grant a role, which is a generic role, which is called public. So if I just type the first three letters of that role, and this just gives the user general access to our system. So that's a generic granted role, which it means they'll be able to access the top level schemas, so on and so forth. Now, the only right we want to really add is a SQL privilege in this video. So this privilege will be to be able to run a select statement on any table in the STS schema. So again, we do this under SQL privileges, and I'm going to click on the green plus button, type in the name of my schema, and it should appear, as well as any other object which contains the word STS. You can see here we've got some views. And then on the right hand side we can see the types of privileges we can allocate for that user for the STS schema. So for us, of course, we only want to allocate the select privilege. In future videos we'll be discussing the analytic system privileges and package privileges. But for now we only really need to modify that SQL privilege. And that's really it. Then I need to actually execute this or deploy this user. So we can see that the user has been created. And if I right click and refresh my list of users, we'll see that we have that user created here as STS read. So the next step is to actually test. Obviously that's what we want to do now. So the easiest way to do it is as follows. is simply in the same HANA Studio, We've got a connection here, 
call with system when connecting to our SAP HANA server. I'm going to right click and add a new system, but use that user that we've created. So it's going to the same box, in my case it's HANA. This is the instance number. I'm going to call this, the description of this is um, STS read. And then I'll click on next. Now here is where we'll enter that password. So for me, I'm entering that password in now. Oops. You'll enter the username, sorry, STS read. And then I'll enter the password STS12345. But I'll be prompted to change that password when I click on next. Oops, when I click on finish. So in the additional properties window, it just gives us a summary of what we've got. So we can have, here we can chop down and um, change the, our locale if we so wish. And then I can click on finish. So because it's the first time we've used this user, we'll need to change the password. So I'm just going to change that password now. And click on OK. So then I'll click on OK and that additional system, as you can see here, has been created. So I've called it STS read. That's the name I've given to this connection. And we're using the user STS read. This was the name of the system user. So this is the can access everything. This should only be able to run select statements. So firstly, that the, the user that we've created will have access to their own schema which will be called STS read as well as the STS schema. Every user, if I go to the catalog folder, will have access to a schema that, which is very similar to the actual name that they've actually, which is the same as the name that you've created for the user. Because we granted that public role, you'll also be given access to a couple of other schemas. And again, you'll need these schemas because certain things that you do within the SAP Panel Studio need to be need to go into the different um, repositories so this is our main HANA repository so that's why we need access to this schema so let's go ahead and test that um, STS content Oops, before we do if I go to for example the content folder we should see that we have no privilege for this folder so that's an example of because we've not allocated anything we don't have any privileges so now if I go to the STS folder we should be able to see all the tables which is great and I should be able to do a data preview or open the content and this essentially runs a select statement as you can see here so running a select statement works fine but can I actually delete a table well if I right click on the same table and try and do a delete statement remember I've logged in as the STS read user I'm gonna say yep delete everything of course now, because we've, the user has no right, we get an insufficient privilege and we're not authorized to delete um, any rows from that, uh, sorry, delete that table. And of course this will apply to any table in this schema. Now there's a few other things that we won't be able to do. We won't be able to insert any data because we don't have the insert command, we don't have the insert privileges. We won't be able to create new tables. So we would have to go back to the user as the system, login as the system. So all I would need to do is actually open up the connection, go to that user, and of course within the privilege, I would need to change any of these options. If I want to be able to run an insert statement on any of the tables, drop any of the tables, so on and so forth. So that's a very simple example of how we can use the SAP Panel um, Studio to create users. And in this simple example, we created a user that only had read access to a specific schema. Thanks for watching. You can see more videos at academy.saphana.com.